NCIS Origins gives Leroy Jethro Gibbs an even better chance at breaking an NCIS franchise record. Asterisk NCIS Origins delves into Gibbs' backstory, highlighting his early days as an NCIS agent at Camp Pendleton in 1991. Asterisk Gibbs and Vance are tied for the record of appearing in the most NCIS shows, showing their reach and impact in the franchise. Asterisk Vance may break the record again by appearing in NCIS, Sydney, solidifying his presence in five shows across the franchise. The advent of NCIS Origins gives Leroy Jeffro Gibbs an even better chance at breaking this NCIS franchise record. The expansion series will explore Gibbs' backstory, transporting audiences back to 1991 at Camp Pendleton, where it all started for Gibbs as an NCIS agent. Gibbs was portrayed by Mark Harmon in the flagship series and will be portrayed by Austin Stowell in the upcoming NCIS Origins cast. His repeated presence in the NCIS universe makes him one of the most relevant characters to the franchise, even years after he departed the flagship series. Although Mark Harmon's Gibbs was the face of the franchise for practically two decades, he wasn't close to breaking this franchise record until the creation of NCIS Origins. Few characters can compete with Gibbs' expanse in the NCIS verse, but Rocky Carroll's NCIS director Leon Vance has been a tough competitor. Gibbs and Vance are featured in the highest number of shows in the NCIS universe. With over 10 different shows making up the shared NCIS universe, and more to come, this record could be a fierce match between the two supervisory characters in the future. NCIS Origins will feature Gibbs in a fourth NCIS show, tying the character with Leon Vance. NCIS Origins will see Gibbs featured in yet another NCIS show. Gibbs' character has been featured on the flagship, NCIS New Orleans, and JAG. Origins will be the fourth show he has been featured in across the NCIS source. Gibbs never joined the NCIS Los Angeles cast, but he has an interesting connection to the Los Angeles office. In NCIS Season 6, Episodes 22 and 23, Legend Part 1 and Legend Part 2, Gibbs visits the NCIS Office of Special Projects in LA, and the two-part storyline serves as the backdoor pilot of NCIS Los Angeles. Rocky Carroll's Leon Vance has also appeared in four shows across the NCIS verse. NCIS NCIS Los Angeles, NCIS New Orleans, and NCIS Hawaii. Liam Vance fills a massive role in the NCIS verse, overseeing all the field offices, so it's difficult for another character to measure up to his expanse, even the great Gibbs. But NCIS Origins made it possible. That said, while Gibbs is in the running with Vance, Rocky Carroll has the distinct honor of portraying his character in every single appearance. Gibbs has been portrayed by Mark Harmon, Mark Harmon's son, Scene Harmon, and now Austin Stowell. How Leon Vance could break the record again for being featured across the most NCIS shows, although Gibbs is now tied with Leon Vance for being featured in the most shows in the combined NCIS universe, Vance could easily break the record again and claim the title for himself. Director Vance has been featured in every NCIS show up to this point, except for NCIS, Sydney, which premiered just last year. In the upcoming NCIS, Sydney Season 2, it would be natural to include Leon Vance, and it would solidify Vance's presence in five shows across the franchise. Vance was referenced in the Australia-based spin-off, but his appearance in the show would make it official. Although hundreds of characters make up the NCIS franchise, few have the reach of Jeffro Gibbs and Leon Vance. Gibbs and Vance both appear in four shows across the NCIS shared universe, tying them for the record of appearing in the most shows across the franchise. It's an interesting feat because TV shows rarely see the longevity that NCIS has experienced, having been on air for over two decades, and it's rare for a franchise to have so many spin-offs. The unique combination provides veteran NCIS characters unique opportunities to accomplish television milestones. Why some NCIS Hawaii fans are boycotting Mark Harmon's Young Gibbs series, 
might we be looking at the first cross-series NCIS feud? Fans of NCIS Hawaii blame the existence of NCIS Origin for the cancellation of their beloved drama, and they're not afraid to say exactly why on X formerly known as Twitter, where they've launched a combination boycott and renewal campaign. Their reasons are myriad. Some of them think that CBS could not afford both Origin and Hawaii, and thus pick the younger series with a veteran franchise lead instead of the uncertain future, though other factors seem to be playing into those beliefs too. This is why NCIS Hawaii was cancelled. Budget for this show and NCIS Origins, think that's the name, about Gibbs in his younger years leading up to him becoming an NCIS agent, said at Michael Labdo's one, while adding they don't assign any blame for this. At Juliana underscore author subtly suggested a boycott, while several fans pointed out the lack of diversity likely to be on display in a Leroy Jethro Gibbs, Mark Harmon, origin story in comparison to Hawaii, even suggesting that CBS might prefer such a show. But was the drama really cancelled to make way for a dark, possibly fan-alienating Gibbs origin story? The answer is more complicated than you'd think. Why was NCIS Hawaii cancelled? Per CBS Entertainment President Amy Reisenbach, the reason why NCIS Hawaii was cancelled comes down to a math equation. Cost versus revenue taken in via ratings and other streams. The amount of space on the schedule also played a part in the decision, according to a statement she made to Variety. It is incumbent on us to always keep the schedule fresh, keep momentum going. We had to make some really tough choices this year. Everything came back from the SAGAFTRA strikes really strong, but ultimately we have to look at the cohesiveness of the schedule flow. We have to evaluate the financials and the performance overall, and we make tough decisions. But why pick an untested series like Origins over a proven hit like Hawaii? Ironically, the success of Young Sheldon may have encouraged the network here, as the Big Bang Theory spin-off has been very profitable for the network, proving that people are interested in these kinds of origin stories. Since the drama is set to include narration from Harmon himself, there's an even deeper parallel. Perhaps the formula will be tried in a much more rigorous way this fall when NCIS Origins hits the air.